kwambie But I want to tell you Je alifika Tarsis Did Jonah get to Tarsis where he was going Alifika Did he get there Jackie alifika Jackie did he get there Acha nikwambie Let me tell you Siku zote utaamua kufanya kitu mwenyewe Every single day you decide to do things Wewe, according to your wa own mind you child of god utatia bidii yako yote you will use all your human utatia effort utatia pesa zako zote all your resources utatia nia yako yote all your mind utachukua na vifurushi vyako vyote you will take all your resources lakini mungu anakuangalia tu mbinguni anasema unapoteza muda but god will be watching you from heaven and telling you you are wasting your time kwa sababu alikuwa anatembea ndani ya wrong direction because he was walking in the wrong direction mungu anakuita god is calling you mwaka 2019 the year 2019 Si jali ulikuwa unaelekea wapi I don't care where you are going Lakini kama ulikuwa unaelekea Tarshish But if you are going a different direction to Tarshish Ninakutangazia kwamba hautafika I want to announce to you that you will not get Utaishia to the end of your journey ngiani. You will not get to the end Hautafika of tarshish. your journey You will not get to the end Maana Mungu hajakwambia uende Tarshish Because God has not sent you to Tarshish Kila mtu ana Tarshish zake Everyone has their own Tarshish Lakini jambo la kushangaza ni kwamba hata Tarshish hautaingia But the problem is this even in tasas you shall not get in utaelea elea tu you will just float around utaangaika angaika kama tulivyofundisha habari za kaini you will wonder like a fugitive the way we were taught miaka about miaka nenda miaka rudi he has on end walimtia kwa aliingia kwenye mashua he went into the boat lakini baadaye walimtupa chini but later on they had to cast him out walimtupa kwenye maji they cast him into the water maana alileta mikosi hata kwa wale ambao walikuwa wanatembea because he caused trouble with the fellow travelers chapter ya pili the second chapter alikuwa kwenye tumbo ya samaki he was in the belly of a fish mtu yote ambaye atapendelea tarshishi badala ya ninawi whoever takes the direction of Tarsus instead of Nineveh will kwenye tumbo ya samaki huko chini find himself in the belly of a fish Hiyo deep under ndio fish ya mtu yeyote ambao anatembea kulingana na matakwa yake mwenyewe kuelekea tarshishi ataishia kuzimu that is the end result of anybody who takes an opposite direction to go to Tarsus your end is Hell. I want to advise you. In 2019. Walk in him. Move in him. Move in him. Move in him. Move in him. Chapter 2 ya maisha ya Yona. The second chapter of the life of Jona. Was a time of lamenting. Na kuomba. And to to pray. And he was asking the Lord to enable him have mercy have mercy get me out of this belly of this fish get me out of here because i acknowledge your god you have all the power i have no power to go against your will he, he prayed like a man who was on the line he knew that it's a matter of life and death all watu, he wanted is God to get him out of the belly of the fish wengi, watu wengi wako katika kama hali kama hiyo na tarishi hakufika nani nawe hakuenda ameishwa kwenye tundu ya tumbo ya samaki many 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 people are just like Jonah's situation they don't get to where they wanted to go Tarsus and they don't even get to Nineveh they Am- end up in the belly of the fish lakini habari njema But the good news is this. The good news is this. Huyu Mungu wa mbinguni. God in heaven. Huyu Mungu wa Israel. God of Israel. Hafurahishi na kifo cha mwenye dhambi. He is not pleased by death of a sinner. Wala hafurahishi na hukumu. And neither is he pleased with judgment. Siku zote anafurahishwa na rehema. He always desires mercy. Mungu alimrehemu Yona. God had mercy on Jonah. Mungu atatrehemu. God will have mercy on us. God will Mungu have mercy on you. Mungu atasikia kilio. God will hear our cry. Na kwa rehema za Mungu. And by the grace of God. Mungu akaamuru samaki. God commanded the fish. Imtapike. To 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 to, to, to Imtapike. To spit. Na mimi naambia maisha yako and i want to speak to your life kwa rehema za mungu by the masses of god chochote kilikuwa kimekumeza whatever had swallowed you kinaenda kukutapika shall spit you kinaenda kukutapika shall vomit you kinaenda kukutapika shall spit you kitakutapika shall spit you kitakutapika shall vomit you sijue roho ambayo ilikuwa imekuvamia 
kuvamia. I don't know the spirits that were attacking you. Kwa ajili ya kutotii Mungu. Because of disobedience to God. Lakini Mungu anaenda ongea na yeye roho. But God will command the spirit. Nimemrehemu. I have had mercy on him. 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 Samaki limtapika. And the fish vomited Jonah. Na samaki ilivomtapika. When the fish vomited Jonah. Mungu akanena mara ya pili. God spoke the second time. Jonah. Jonah. Enda sasa ni nao. Now go to Nineveh. Alipiga mbio. Jonah ran fast. Alipiga na spirit of acceleration. He went with the spirit of acceleration. Akielekea ni nao hii. He went to Nineveh. Sema ndani yake tutatembea. Say this in him we ndani move. Ndani yake tutatembea. In him we shall move. Ndani yake tutatembea. In him we shall move. Mwaka 2019. 2019. Ninakushauri. I want to advise you. Usiende tarshish. Do not go to Tarsus. Usiishie kwenye tumbo ya Samaki. Don't end up in the belly Mungu of the sema, fish. God is saying. Nimekurehem. I have had mercy on you. Nimekupa nafasi ya pili tena. I have tena. given you a second opportunity. Sasa, elekea ni nawe. Now, head to Nineveh. Alitembea ndani ya neno la Mungu. He walked into the word of Simama God. Simama mwaka elfu Let us stand up and receive the new year 2019. Unaingia katika kusudi la Mungu. In the starting in the will of God. Na tutatembea kuelekea katika neno la Bwana. And we shall move in accordance to the word of God. Na tutatimiza makusudi ya Mungu. And to fulfill the purposes of God. Hapo tutaziona mvua za Bwana. Then we shall experience the rains ya Mungu. of blessings from God. Kwa hiyo ninakuambia maneno matatu. Therefore I want to speak to you three words. Kama unaomba ukimaanisha. If you are going to pray meaningfully. Mungu anasema ninakupa nafasi ya pili. God is saying I'm giving you yet another chance. Number one. The first thing. Ninakurehemu. I have mass on you. Number 2. Number 2. Tembea ndani yangu. Move in me. Utaniona. You will see me. Heri ya mwaka mpya. Happy New Year. <laughs> Heri ya mwaka mpya. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Walk in the Lord. Walk with him. The year of walking in the perfect will of God. The year of increase in faith. The year of transforming into the image of Christ. Give him praise. Give him praise. Listen, listen. Sikiliza, sikiliza. Listen just for a moment. Sikiliza. Listen. Sikiliza. Listen just for a moment please. Kabla hatujaendelea kukumbatiana. Before we continue congratulating one another. Naomba kingdom irudi mahali hapo. I want to request kingdom to come back here. Mimi tumwabudu Mungu. Kingdom choir come back here. Hebu tumbusu Yesu kwanza. I want us to praise and kiss Jesus. Kabla ya kukumbatiana. Before we embrace one another. Sikiliza, sikiliza. Listen to me. Sikiliza. Please listen. Sikiliza. Kindly, kindly, please. Yeye ndiye ametuvusha. He is the one who was ushered into the new year. Inawezekana kuna wengine tayari wameshindwa kuingia. Probably there are people who have not made it into the new year. Lakini kwa neema yake tumeingia. But by the grace of God we have been able to. Acha tumwabudu kwanza. Let us first worship him. Lakini hizo za kwanza tumpe yeye. The first few minutes let us give them to Jesus then I will allow you to greet one another afterwards we shall hear the message right right let us give him the first minutes to Jesus give him praise Hey, no!
Tell your neighbor the mercies of God are upon you. The mercies of God are upon you. God has commanded your problem to vomit you. He has given you yet another chance. He has given you another opportunity. Now move in him. In his power. In his ability. We shall do exploits. Give him praise. Number two, now item number two, 
Tunaenda kutoa sadaka ya shukrani. We are going to give our thanksgiving offering. Kwa Mungu kuturuhusu kuingia mwaka 2019. God allowing us to get into the new year 2019. Acha hiyo sadaka yako ya shukrani mbele za Mungu. Let your thanksgiving offering before the Lord. Ikubalike mbele za Bwana. Be acceptable unto him. Ni sawa? Do we agree? Ni sawa hivyo? Do we agree? Anda sadaka yako. Prepare your offering. Mimi na wewe hatujafanya jambo lolote. You and I have none have done nothing. Ili tuone mwaka huu. To see this year. Ni kwa neema yake tu. It's just by his grace. Ni kwa rehema zake tu. Just by his mercies. Ambao Mungu ametukirimia. That the Lord has granted us. Kwa nini tusimshukuru? Why then won't we thank him? Hebu tutoe sadaka ya shukrani. Please let us give our thanksgiving offering inaofanana na furaha ambayo Mungu ametia ndani yako. That agrees and looks like the joy that the Lord has put in you. Ukijua kwamba yeye ndiye anaweza kila kitu. Knowing well that he is able to do all. Na kwa imani atatuwezesha kila kitu. And by faith he shall see us through this year. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say in him we move. In him we live. In him we move. In him we have our well-being. In him we enter 2019. Please turn to your neighbor. In him tell your neighbor ndani yake in him 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 ndani yake we shall see great things. Tutaona mambo makuu. This year 2019. Mwaka huu 2019. In him. Ndani yake. We shall have great movement. Tutakuwa na makubwa. The spirit of acceleration. Roho ya kasi. Will make us move. Itatuwezesha kuenenda. Because we will be in him. Kwa sababu tutakuwa ndani yake. The spirit of acceleration. Roho ya kasi. Will make us move. Itatuwezesha kuenenda na kufanya mavugu vugu kubwa kwa utukufu wa jina lake takatifu put on the weapon of faith tell your neighbor neighbor put on the armor the shield of faith 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 Let us now continue in the word of God. So the first word we shall move in the right direction. Tutaenenda katika mwelekeo sahihi. Mwelekeo sahihi ni upi? Which is the right direction? Ni kutembea kulingana na kile ambacho Mungu amesema. Is to walk in accordance to what God has spoken. Kile ambacho Mungu amesema what God has spoken Ukikubali kutembea ndani ya kile ambacho Bwana amesema When you agree to walk in what God has spoken Mungu atakupa speed Then God will give you acceleration Mungu atakuwezesha God will enable you Nikwambia acceleration ya Mungu I want to tell you about the acceleration of the Lord Inaweza kukufanya vitu ambavyo umeshindwa kwenye miaka 10 ukaviweza kwa mwaka mmoja It will cause you to accomplish things that have taken you years In one year you will accomplish them all Ipokee kwa jina la Yesu that in Jesus name Tusome katika Hosea 6 mstari wa 3. Let us take our reading from Hosea chapter 6 verse 3. Hosea 6 mstari wa 3. Hosea chapter 6 verse 3. Kwa Kiswahili nitasoma. Kitabu cha Hosea sura ya 6 mstari wa 3. Nasi natujue naam Tukaendelee kumjua Bwana kutokea kwake ni yakini kama asubuhi naye atatujulia kama mvua kama mvua ya vuli inyweshayo nchi 
Let us know. Let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the later and former rain to the earth. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Dryness is caused by not knowing God. Be because it is in the will of God that we prosper. It is in the will of God that you and I should prosper. It is in the will of God that we overcome the world. But not knowing God will cause us to live a life of dryness. Wilderness in our spirits. Wilderness in our souls. Wilderness in our bodies. Wilderness in the work of our hands. But when we strive to know God, we, if we get to know who God is, then we will purpose to conform in his likeness. To know God is not only to know about his word, but it is to know the character of God. To know what exactly pleases God. To know the greatness of God. To know the nature of the character of God. And we are accepting to walk in the right direction in order to be in his likeness. And the more we conform to his likeness, then we receive the authority of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. The more we walk in the right direction, then God enables us. He gives us He gives us his ability, his power. I'll give you an example. Now when Noah got into the ark who closed the door of that ark? Bible scholars were here. Who closed the door? Eh? God himself. Mungu mwenyewe. Apana. No. Who closed the door? Bible scholars were here. Eh? Mwanzo nane imeanza na saba imeanza na nane Genesis around chapter 7 chapter 8 Sio Mungu aliyefunga mlango It's not God who closed the door Mungu aliamuru mlango ufungwe lakini alituma malaika malaika alifunga mlango God commanded the door to be closed to be shut Sio Mungu alifunga ni malaika It's an angel who shut that lakini door Lakini kwa order ya Mungu si ndio Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Lakini but, because Noah was in the will of God, he was walking in the direction of God. When it got to the time to get out of that ark, who opened the door? Who? Who did it? Who closed the door? Who? The angel had shut the door. Then who opened? Mstari wa 18 mwanzo 8 18 Mungu alimwambia toka sasa Find it in Genesis chapter 8 verse 18 Ndio 18 Now God commanded Noah to get out of the ark toka. He told him get out of the ark Toka na hivyo viumbe vyote Get out with all the creatures Nani alifungua kwa hiyo Therefore who opened the door Yeye mwenyewe Noah himself Inamaanisha nini What does that mean if you are in the will of God, there are things that are totally divine. But because God has given you that power, you are able to do it. Noah himself 
open the door. Si Biblia inasema Mungu akifungua hapana afungaye, Mungu akifunga hapana afunguaye. The Bible says when God shuts a door, no one can open and when he opens it nobody can shut Lakini it. Lakini Mungu akikupa mamlaka, but when God gives you authority, una uwezo wa kufungua. Then you are able <laughs> to open. Hallelujah. Amen. Umeipata hiyo? Amen. Kwa sababu tu Mungu amesema toka Tayari anakupa uwezo wa kufungua. Because God has commanded, he has spoken and said, get Alisema, out. Sasa. Get out now. That means he has Hiyo given you the authority to get out. That word had power in it. Hivo hivo kile ambacho Bwana anakuambia kinakuwezesha, kinakupa mamlaka, kinakufanya wewe uwe na uwezo wa kufanya. In the same manner, the word that God speaks to you comes with authority. It gives you ability to accomplish. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Vitu vipo. Things are available. Baraka za Mungu zipo. The blessings of God are Kila available. Kila kitu kipo. Everything is available. Ni sisi tu hatuna uwezo wa kumjua Mungu kisawa sawa. It is the is, the problem is on our side. We have not yet known God well. Mpango wa Mungu wa awali alivyo tuumba alituumba kwa mfano wake. When God created us, he created us in his own image. Alituumba kwa mfano wake. In his own likeness. Lakini kupitia uovu, but because of sin, tulipoteza sura ya Mungu. Then we lost the image of God. Lakini tulivompokea, but when we received him, ametuingiza katika mpango pia wa kufanana na yeye. He has ushered us into the will to conform in his image. Hebu tusome katika Yohana. Open to the book of John. Yohana wa kwanza tatu mstari wa pili na wa tatu. The epistle, first epistle of John, chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. Waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana, sura ya tatu, mstari unwa pili na wa tatu. Kwa kiswa hili. Wapenzi, sasa tuwana wa mungu. Wala, haijadhirika bado tutaka vyo kuwa. Lakini tuajua ya kuwa, atakapodhirishwa, tutafanana naye kwa maana tutamuona kama alivyo na kila mwenye matumaini haya katika yeye hujitakasa kama yeye alivyo mtakatifu kwa hiyo tumeitwa tufanane na yeye and therefore we have been called to, to be like him kama kwa mfano wa wakati alivyotuumba alituumba kwa mfano wake just like he had created us before the foundation of his earth, Lakini, we were in his image. Anguko la mwanadamu lilifanya tukapoteza sura ya Mungu. But the fall of man caused us to miss out or to lose the likeness of God. Lakini kusudi la pili ni sisi tufanane tena na yeye. However, the second purpose is this that we may get back to look like him. Na kila anayetumaini hilo and everybody with that hope anajitakasa sanctifies themselves. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Huu ni mwaka wa kutembea katika purity. This is a year to walk into kujitakasa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. Kila aliye na tumaini kwamba tutafanana na yeye. Anyone who anyone was hope that we shall be like him. Anajitakasa purifies themselves. Kwa sababu na yeye ni mtakatifu. Because he is holy. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Tukirudi kwenye Hosea 6. Now get him back to the book of Hosea chapter 6. Biblia inasema tutafute sana kumjua Mungu. The Bible says let us diligently seek to know God. Na tutakavomjua Mungu and when we get to know him. Tutakavofanana na yeye. When we are in his likeness. Sikiliza kitakachotokea. Listen to what happens. Biblia inasema The Bible says Mungu mwenyewe. God himself atashuka will come down kwenye maombi tulikuwa tunajifunza now during the prayer time we were learning this nini inaleta ukame religion brings dryness nini inaleta ukame what brings dryness hata religion inaleta ukame ni kweli sasa basi tuliona jinsi maombi inaweza ikarudisha mvua now we have to understand how prayer brings back the rains Elia aliomba Mungu mvua ikanyeshe. Elijah prayed and it rained. Lakini jambo la pili, But the second thing is this. Tulisema sisi tukianza maisha ya kutaka kufanana na Mungu. We said this that the moment we kick start the life of 
desiring to look like God. When we have the mind of Christ in us, when we have the thoughts of Christ in us, regardless of whether we pray or not, God himself shall come. God will come. Tunaweza tukaomba lakini kwa kuwa tunaomba lakini hatujaze zile conditions za Mungu. We may be praying but because we are not walking in the requirements of God. Inakuwa ngumu kuona mvua. Then it's difficult to experience the rains. Kuomba ni kitu kimoja kizuri sana. Prayer is one beautiful thing. Lakini kujua tabia ya Mungu na kuiga tabia ya Mungu tukao na, na, na nia ya Mungu ndani yetu. Mungu mwenyewe atashuka. But to know the character of God, to understand it and to imitate his character causes God to come down himself. Na anasema atashuka namna gani? And he, he asks, how will I come down? Atashuka kama mvua. He will come down as rain. Atashuka kama mvua. As rain. Ndugu wapendwa. Beloved brethren. Acha nikwambie. Let me submit to you. Mwaka huu 2019. This year 2019. Mvua ya Mungu inaenda kushuka. The rain of God will descend. Mungu mwenyewe anaenda kushuka. God himself will come. Wakati kutakuwa na ukame mahali pengine, in whatever place at whatever time there'll be dryness. God will allow his rain to come on you. Two kinds of rains. The rain that will allow you to sow. And the rain that will allow you to rip. We are getting into prayer now. We want to get into prayer. Let us pray to God. That you have had, God you have had mercy on me. Now I ask you to enable me. To walk in you. To know you more. To imitate that divine character. That I may have the mind of Christ in me. That I may protect my purity. That I may be pure before you. Then I will experience the rains coming down. Because God you will come. You will enable me. And you will see, experience the rains of God. How it will come in your life. We are getting in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray now. That we may be in God. We may move in God. We may live in Him. And that our well-being will be in God. Let us purpose to know God. Because the mind of God is we again look like Him. The likeness that we had lost before we may gain it back. And because we shall be like Him in that hope we will not accept any kind of impurity are you understanding me? Young people, are you here? Young people, are you here? Don't allow any more. Don't allow any more. Every kind of defilement. Even in your thoughts. Even in your heart. Even in your bodies. And the men and the women who are here. We children of Zion. Let us know not accept impurity. Any defilement. Defilement yote. In our prayer time, we were talking about defilement through negative words. You are used to talking, talking. You don't know that those words are defiling you. And the enemy brings those words in order to defile you. How will God come down then? How will he come down? We have to guard. We have to guard our bodies, our souls, and our hearts from any kind of defilement. Then wait and see how God will come down. Amen. 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 Has that word touched you? Has it touched you? 
Ni mwaka wa kuona mvua ya Bwana. It is a year to experience the rains of God. Mungu akishuka mwenyewe. When God himself comes. Mambo yanakuwa rahisi. Then things get easier. Mambo yanakuwa rahisi. Things get easier. Mambo yanakuwa rahisi. Things get easier. Anashuka na uweza wake. He comes with his power. Anashuka na mamlaka yake. With his authority. Na ukame wote unaondolewa. And all the dryness is gotten rid. Hallelujah. Of. Amen. We are going to kneel down everyone. We are going to kneel down everyone. We are going to pray. Pray please. May the spirit of God lead you that you may call upon the reins of God. Call upon the character of God. In the, we have the mind of Christ. In the English translation Philippians chapter 2 says we have the mind of of Christ. Lakini ninaipenda sana kwa Biblia Kifaransa. But I love that translation. Kwa Kiswahili nasemaje? I love that translation in the French. Wa Filipi 2:5. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 Kiswahili kinasema hivi. Iweni na nia hiyo hiyo ndani yenu ambayo ilikuwamo pia ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Kwa Kiingereza English. Philippians Chapter 2 verse 5 The Bible says in Philippians 2 verse 5 make <laughs> make your own attitude that of Christ mwenye KJV NKJV please Let this be let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Version yako inasemaje? Mine here says Make your own attitude that of Christ Jesus. Mm. Attitude. Mhm. Nafikiri hata kwa French ilikuwa inaelekea huko. Aha. Lakini kwa French wametia na zile feelings za ndani. Kwa French wanasema aye en vous le sentiment qui était en Jésus-Christ. Yaani ule mtu wa ndani ana hisia, ana feelings. That the inner man has feelings. Sasa uache hizo feelings the, zako zikuwe zile za Kristo. Now allow your feelings, your emotions to be of Christ. Licha ya, ya attitude, licha ya tabia, licha ya mawazo lakini hata hiyo feeling ya ndani. Good your attitude, your 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 attitude, your mind. But now it goes deeper and talks about your inner feelings to be those or that of Christ. Le sentiment ni ile ile hisia hiyo feeling ya ndani kile ambacho unahisi kwamba hiki ndio kinamfurahisha Kristo hiyo furaha hiyo ndio hiyo hiyo iwe ndani yako The French translation goes deeper and talks about the inner feelings whatever you feel that pleases Christ then that is the feeling that you ought to walk in Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Tuwe na hiyo nia ya ndani that our mind our inner mind na tabia zetu za nje and our outward character na mawazo ya ndani and our thoughts within us na ile hisia ya Kristo ya ndani and that inner feeling of Christ ifanane na yetu be like hallelujah amen unasikia ule utofauti do you understand the depth kama una wazo ndani if you are thinking any thought within you na unahisi kabisa kwamba ili wazo halimfurahishe bwana and you sense that the thoughts the direction of my thoughts is not pleasing to god hata watu hawajui una waza nini now people may not know what you are thinking lakini kristo yeye anajua unachokiwaza christ knows exactly what you are thinking na kama unachokiwaza hakiambatane na wazo la mungu Basi badilisha hiyo wazo. Now if your thoughts are not in accordance to the thoughts of Jesus Christ, then better change it immediately. 
Hakika tutaona Mungu akishuka mwenyewe na kutupigania vita vyetu. Then indeed we shall see God himself coming down and fighting our battles. Na tutaona mvua ya Bwana ikimwagika juu ya maisha yetu. And we shall see and experience the rains of the Lord coming upon our lives. Na kila jicho litaona. And every eye shall see it. Na kila mtu atasema hiki ni kidole cha Bwana. Everybody shall confess this is the finger of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Kwa hiyo maneno ambayo tunaenda kuyatamka kwa mwaka huu. Therefore the word that we are going to speak or mention this year. Neno la kwanza ni kutembea kulingana na direction, right direction ya Mungu. Number 1 is to move in the right direction of God. Number 2 number 1 moving in the right direction. Unaweza kuandika. Please write this words and sentence statements. La kwanza ni kutembea katika mwelekeo sahihi wa Mungu. Number 2 it is pleasing God. La pili ni kumpendeza Mungu. Number 3 it is seeking him. La tatu ni kumtafuta Mungu. Number 4 it's purity. La nne ni kujitakasa. Number 5 is loving. La tano ni upendo ama upen, upendano. Number 6 intercession and prayer. Na la sita ni maombezi pamoja na maombi sala. Number saba ni giving. La saba ni utowaji, kutoa. Number nane ni outreach. La nane ni kuwashuhudia wengine kushuhudia. Number tisa ni loyalty. La kurahia kurehema, kufraya zaidi rehema. Number kumina moja, rewinding of rain. La, la kumina moja ni zawadi ile ya mvua. Number kumina mbili ni harvest. La, la kuminambili ni mavuno kuvuna acha ni seme tena let me repeat all of them again utafikia pale ulikuwa umefika na kujaza continue writing just get to hear what i'm saying moving in the right direction is number 1 kutembea katika mwelekeo sahihi la kwanza how do we move in the right direction tutatembeaje katika mwelekeo sahihi what is the right direction mwelekeo sahihi ni upi the right di- direction is pleasing god by mwelekeo sahihi la pili kumpendeza mungu it is seeking him tatu kumtafuta yeye this is the vision haya ndo maono yetu number 4 it is keeping the purity of god la nne kulinda utakaso mungu aliyokupa rejecting any defilement kana kataa kila unajisi spirit soul and body katika mwili wako nafsi na roho god is love mungu ni upendo therefore we need to be loving people la tano hilo basi tunahitaji kuishi katika mapendano mpende mwenzio number 6 La sita. Intercession and prayer. Maombezi na sala. Why? Because the enemy will be fighting your motives and your decisions. Kwa nini adui anapiga vita maumuzi yako na mawazo yako? So we are going to be prayerful people and be in inter- continuous intercession. Kwa hivyo lazima tuwe watu wa maombezi na kila wakati kusali. Number 7, we have to be people who are willing to give, Hatu, being givers. Hatuwe ya saba lazima tuwe watu watuwaji, yani maisha ya kutoa. In the kingdom of God, even in our lives, in our regular lives. Katika ufalma mungu, lakini katika maisha yetu ya kila siku popote pale tulipo. Allow the spirit of God to give you the gift of giving. Hebu mruusu ro mtakatifu, akukirimie ile karama Ya because God is a giver and if we are like him we are also givers and that's how we will be blessed Mungu ni mtoaji na kama sisi tutafanana na yeye lazima tuwatoaji na kutoa kwa bariki maisha yako It's our time of outreach Ni muda wetu sasa la La, la, la Outreach. La a, it is in the will of God for us to reach out to other people. Muda wetu sasa wa kuwashuhudia wengine, kuwafikia wengine. We reach out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tunafikia wengine na kuwashuhudia injili nzuri hii ya Yesu Kristo. We reach out to the needy. Tunawafikia pia Waitaji. 2019 we are going to emphasize this outreach as never before. Mwaka 2019 tutasisitiza sana ushuhudiaji wa nje na kuwafikia watu nje zaidi. of outreaches. Kila aina ya kuwashuhudia watu na kuwafikia watu. To communities, katika jamii, to preaching the gospel, kuhubiri njili, to hospitals, katika mahospitali, to the needy, wanye huitaji, to the orphans, yatima, 
we are going to do outreach as never before. Tutawafikia watu na kushuhudia jinsi hatujawahi kufanya awali. And we need to know about the spirit of loyalty. Na tunahitaji kujua roho ya kuwa mwanana, uaminifu, kuwa mwanana. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this is in the will of God. Kwa sababu haya yamo katika mapenzi ya Mungu. We delight in his mercy. Hebu tufurahie katika rehema zake. Because God delight in mercy. Kwa sababu Mungu anapendezwa na rehema. So we should be people who are willing to forgive. Kwa hivyo tuwe watu ambao wako tayari kila wakati kusamehe. And release mercy over other people. Na tuonyeshe rehema kwa watu. And praying mercy over the people. Na kuombea watu rehema. Don't be judgmental. It is not in the will of God. Then we shall see the reign of God coming. As the reward from him. And we will be able to harvest. Did you get it all? Did you get it all? So all those 12 points. Kwa hivyo hatua zote 12 hizo. Every month we emphasize one point and teach and uh, look for teachings, find teachings that goes with this word. Kila mwezi tutachukua hatua moja kuisisitiza na mahubiri yote yazingatie hapo. Tutahubiri kuzingatia neno hilo kila mwezi. So by saying rewarding of rain in 11 or 12 harvest does not mean that you cannot harvest in January or in February. Tukisema sasa kuwa tutashuhudia mvua za mungu zikitunyea maisha ni mwetu kama kumina moja kumina mbili haimanishi tusubiri hadi disemba kusubiri mavuno. Unaweza kuvuna hata januari. Even from now hata sasa hivi you can see the rain. Waweza kuona hizo mvua. You can harvest. Waweza kuvuna. But the way we have put these things lakini jinsi mchakato mambo haya livoekwa it's about the teachings that will follow every month about these things because we want to engrave it in our inner character. Ni kuhusu mafunzo jinsi yatakavu fuatilia uo mpangilio. Lengo ni hili Mambo haya ya chorwe katika mioyetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa maneno mengine, In other words, tutakusudia zaidi kumpendeza Mungu. We will emphasize the more pleasing God. Kwa maneno machache, just briefly, kumpendeza Mungu. Emphasis is on pleasing God. Kufanana na yeye. To be like him. Kutembea kwa imani. To move and walk in faith. Na tuache mvua ya Bwana ishuke. And let us allow the how the rains of God to come down. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. And therefore, right now, as we get into prayer, and before we start prayer, I want us to partake of the Holy Communion. God gave his body. God gave his blood for you and I. Let the blood of Jesus speak that. Let the body of Christ strengthen us that we may be like him. Jesus never suffered sicknesses. He, was, he never walked in sin. He was holy. And the Bible says, as he is holy, so should we be his inner character be our character. And his inner joy be your joy, my joy, our joy. In other words, in him we live. In him we move. In him we have our well-being. Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate for your life that you gave for us. You died on the cross for us. We pray that this year we'll be like you. We'll delight and please you. We will walk, move in you. We will fulfill your purpose. Lord Jesus, as we approach this table, Father, we ask you to strengthen us in our bodies and purify our hearts. 
tuishi kwa ajili yako that we may live for you na kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lako to the glory of your name ninaomba badiliko father i pray for transformation la ajabu amazing kwa ajili ya kila anayesikia neno hili each and everybody under the sound of my voice na baba tutakavyofanya hivi and father as we do that utaamuru you will command vile ambavyo vilikuwa vimeshikilia maisha yetu that which was be, was holding down our lives to let go na watu wako and your people tutakuwa huru we shall be free na kutembea kwa kasi and walk in acceleration katika kusudi lako in your will tuongezee imani increase our faith iwe ni mwaka wa imani kubwa let it indeed be a year of great faith ili tuweze kukuona wewe that we may see you na tuweze kufanana na and wewe we may be in your likeness kwa utukufu wa jina to the lako. glory of your name wezeshe kila moja enable each one of us ondoa madhaifu get rid of every weakness ondoa tabia ya get asili get rid of every natural character utupatie nature yako bwana and grant us your nature oh lord kama ilivyokuwa mpango wako ulivyotuumba as it has been your purpose since creation ilikuwa ili tufanane na wewe father your purpose was that we be in your likeness na kwa neema yako and by your grace tutayafikia hayo we shall attain all that ututenge na mambo ya ulimwengu separate us from the things of this world ututenge na machafuko ya dunia separate us from the defilement of this world na mungu and god tuishi kwa ajili yako we may live for you katika jina la Yesu In Jesus name Amen Amen Waimbaji watachukua meza ya Bwana alafu wataendelea kutuongoza Kwaya please partake of the holy communion first then you shall lead us as we minister unto the Lord Na baadaye tutaingia baada ya kuchukua meza ya Bwana utapiga magoti pale uliko na tutaenda kumuomba Mungu After you have partaken of the holy communion go back kneel down and get into prayer tutaomba nao watakuwa wakituongoza katika nyimbo zinazotuwezesha kuomba as we pray the choir will be leading us in with songs that facilitate prayer ni muda pia wa unavoomba unaomboleza pia kwa ajili ya familia yako na kwa ajili ya wote ambao bwana atakuruhusu wafikie it's a wonderful time that when you get into prayer intercede for your family intercede for all that the holy ghost will be leading you to tutoke katika uvugu vugu kwa mwaka huu let us get out of lukewarm, lukewarmness this year tutoke katika uvugu vugu mwaka huu get out of lukewarmness this year kwa neema ya mungu by the grace of god tutakuwa moto we shall be hot sio baridi sio uvugu vugu not cold not lukewarm people 